I am Dr. G. Mahesh, Associate Professor in Department of CSC, Sagaram Krishna Rajanir College, Bhemvaram. The present topic is Constructors and Destructors in Object-Oriented Programming Course. Let us see what are the objectives of this PPT. First of all, the objective is to illustrate constructors and then to illustrate destructors and finally to demonstrate dynamic memory allocation in C++. Similar to variables, objects may also need some initialization operations when they are created. And objects may also need some finalization operations before destruction. C++ constructors and destructors satisfy these requirements by initializing and finalizing the objects. Let us see what is meant by constructor. It is also a member function that has the name of the class as its name. Therefore, the name of the constructor is same as the class name. So it is very easy to declare constructor. Constructor is automatically called when a class object is uh, created. Constructor could have parameters or may not have parameters. Constructor without parameters is generally known as a default constructor. But constructors don't return values. Constructors as we have already discussed are used for initialization operations. For example, it could be used to initialize exam marks class objects by making initial marks to zeros. It could be used to initialize stack class objects by making initial value of top variable to zero or minus one. Now let us see the syntax of a constructor. Syntax for constructor declaration is a CNAME in brackets PL semicolon, where CNAME is the class name and PL is a list of parameters. For example, stack in brackets no parameters and stack in brackets int t are the examples for constructors for a class stack. In the first example, stack class constructor has no parameter. So, it is a default constructor. It is used to initialize stack class objects with some predetermined values. The second example, stack class constructor has parameters. It is called parameterized constructor. It is used for initializing stack objects depending on sent parameters. As shown in the second row, the syntax for defining constructor is CNAME scope resolution operator CNAME in brackets LP in braces the different uh, statements. Uh, here again CNAME is class name, uh, the scope resolution operator and then again class name for constructor name. In brackets the list of parameters and then uh, in braces you can have the different uh, initialization uh, statements. The examples are shown on the right side. The first example is a default constructor definition which can be included within the class itself and top variable is initialized to zero for each and every stack that is declared as clause and the second example illustrates uh, defining the constructor outside the stack therefore you have to include the stack scope relation operator stack in brackets uh, that parameter uh, t and then t can be assigned to the top variable
how do you call uh, this uh, constructor yes it is automatically called whenever an object is uh, uh, declared like uh, stack uh, st1 it calls a default constructor stack st2 it calls uh, parameterized constructor now let us know what is meant by destructor a member function that has the name of the clause uh, preceding uh, tilde symbol as its uh, name is called destructor therefore destructor name is the same as the uh, constructor name but it is uh, preceded by the tilde symbol here destructor is called automatically when a clause object is uh, destroyed it does not have any parameters and it does not return any values it is generally used for finalization operations let us see the, the syntax of uh, uh, declaring and defining the destructor so first of all uh, how do you declare a destructor yes already we have known that uh, the destructor name is same as the class name preceded by tilde symbol therefore it can be declared as a tilde class name in brackets uh, uh, no parameters the example for this uh, syntax is uh, tilde stack without any parameters let us see how do you define destructor yes if you want to define it outside the class uh, then you have to give class name scope relation operator and a tilde and again class name that is the syntax of our uh, destructor the examples are shown on the right side one destructor that is uh, defined within the class and another destructor that is defined outside the class for the stack class objects how do you call destructor you don't have to call the destructor explicitly when an object goes out of the scope destructor is automatically called let us see one example of a constructors and a destructors this example is in a bank domain in which uh, there is uh, one class called uh, account class uh, many objects will be there uh, in uh, account class uh, like account 1 account 2 account 3 account 4 like that so first of all you have to declare class account uh, in which uh, the first data member is uh, account number which is uh, declared as, as uh, long and another data member is uh, bal which is uh, double data type and then the constructor is uh, declared and defined within the class uh, in the public section it has uh, two parameters uh, a and b for passing the account number and the balance of each account object whenever they are created and they will be assigned to account number and balance of that object so here the two parameters are a and b they are assigned to a c and o and bal then there is uh, one parameterless constructor that is a default constructor after that uh, destructor is there uh, with uh, that uh, tilde symbol and uh, its uh, definition like uh, whenever an account object is uh, deleted we wanted to display account number so and so is uh, deleted using these two statements uh, and then we have one uh, member function known as a disp function for displaying the account number and balance of uh, each and every object now we have to call the 
constructor yes so we don't have to call the constructor but while uh, declaring the uh, these uh, objects of account clause you have to pass the parameters account number and the balance whenever you are creating that uh, objects after that uh, uh, c1 and c2 uh, data members are displayed using uh, disp function now let us see how dynamic memory calculation is uh, uh, done in C++. Dynamic memory allocation in C++ uh, is uh, presented by one operator known as uh, new. The syntax of using new operator is uh, uh, shown in the PPT. The first statement is uh, V is equal to new space type. It creates one pointer variable with the integer type. The example is given on the right side. That is, first of all, you have to declare P as integer pointer, and then you have to use P is equal to new space, the data type that is int. After that, if you want to create or allocate memory dynamically to an array of integers also you can do that using p is equal to new space type in brackets yes here p is again the pointer variable point into an array and the new is the operator and the type is the data type and s is the size the example for using this syntax is uh, p is equal to new space int in square brackets uh, 10 that is uh, a pointer variable is uh, created for an array of uh, size uh, 10 and then finally can we also dynamically allocate memory to an object of a class. Therefore, the syntax of our this thing is uh, op is equal to new c in brackets p1 comma p2. Here op is the object pointer and new is the operator. C as you know it is a class name and it is also the constructor name. And in brackets uh, uh, two parameters means uh, if the constructor has uh, two parameters, uh, you have to pass uh, two parameters. Uh, the example for uh, dynamically allocating memory to an object is uh, shown on the right side. That is, uh, AP is equal to new space uh, class name in brackets, uh, the parameters uh, 1 comma 500. And whenever you allocate uh, memory dynamically, you have to explicitly deallocate the memory also using the operator delete. The uh, usage of a delete command is uh, shown in the uh, third row. That is uh, delete space the variable or that uh, point. Uh, for deallocating a memory to and uh, array you have to use uh, delay space uh, in squ square brackets and then uh, that uh, variable name or that pointer. Let us revise uh, what is the constructor. Constructor is a mechanism to initialize the objects and then uh, we have discussed about destructor. Destructor is a mechanism to finalize objects uh, and uh, we have also discussed about uh, dynamic memory with uh, uh, new and uh, delete operators.